Welcome to Know What's Trending, your first source to latest trending information. Today, we dive into a topic that affects millions worldwide, depression. Depression is a mental health condition that is characterized by persistent feelings of sadness, emptiness, or an inability to feel pleasure. It carves a significant impact on an individual's life, their relationships, and overall health. It's crucial to understand that depression is not merely a bout of temporary negative feelings in response to a strenuous life event. Rather, it is a continuous struggle that can last for weeks, months, or even years. The intensity of this condition can vary from person to person, but the impact is profound and often debilitating. Depression is more than just feeling sad or having a bad day. It is a serious medical condition that requires understanding and care. Did you know that there are different types of depression? That's right. Depression isn't a one-size-fits-all condition. It presents in various forms, each with its own unique characteristics. First, let's talk about major depressive disorder. This is what most people think of when they hear the term depression. It's characterized by a persistent feeling of sadness or a lack of interest in outside stimuli. The blues hit hard, lasting for two weeks or more. Next, we have persistent depressive disorder also known as dysthymia. This is a chronic form of depression that lasts for at least two years. It may not feel as intense as major depression, but it's the endurance runner of the depressive disorders, sticking around for the long haul. Then there's postpartum depression. This one specifically affects women who have recently given birth. It's more intense than the baby blues and can include severe mood swings, exhaustion, and feelings of inadequacy as a mother. Lastly, we have Seasonal Affective Disorder, or SAD for short. SAD is a type of depression that's related to changes in seasons, starting and ending at about the same times every year. Most often it starts in the fall and continues into the winter months. Understanding the different types of depression can help in identifying and treating this condition effectively. Depression manifests in various ways and the symptoms can be quite diverse. It is a mental health condition that goes beyond ordinary sadness. Its symptoms are persistent and can interfere significantly with one's daily life. One of the most prevalent symptoms is a constant sense of sadness or emptiness. This isn't a fleeting feeling of disappointment or a momentary dip in mood. Rather, it's a profound, unshakable melancholy that hangs over everything, making even the simplest tasks seem insurmountable. Loss of interest in activities once enjoyed is another common symptom. This could be anything from hobbies to social events or even just the everyday routines that once brought pleasure. The world can start to feel colorless and nothing seems to bring joy or fulfillment. Irritability and restlessness can also come into play. Depression can make one more susceptible to frustration, leading to a short temper and a sense of unease. It's as though you're on edge all the time, unable to find peace or comfort. Physical symptoms are often overlooked but are equally important. Chronic pain that doesn't seem to have a clear cause, such as headaches, backaches, or stomach aches, can be indicators of depression. Digestive issues that don't improve even with treatment can also be a sign. It's important to note that these symptoms can vary significantly from person to person. Some people may experience only a few symptoms, while others may suffer from many. The severity and frequency of these symptoms can also differ greatly. Remember, Depression is not a sign of weakness or a character flaw. It's a real serious illness that requires professional help. So if you or someone you know is experiencing these symptoms, it's crucial to seek professional help. There is no shame in reaching out and there are many effective treatments available. You're not alone and help is out there. The causes of depression are not fully understood, but several factors can contribute to its onset. It's like a jigsaw puzzle with many pieces and we're still trying to figure out how they all fit together. One potential piece of this puzzle is genetics. Just like the color of your eyes or your height, your genetic makeup can influence your susceptibility to depression. If depression runs in your family, you might be more likely to experience it yourself. Another piece is brain chemistry. Our brains are a complex network of chemicals and signals all working in harmony. But sometimes this harmony gets disrupted. Changes in the levels of certain chemicals in the brain, such as serotonin and dopamine, can lead to feelings of sadness, hopelessness, and other symptoms of depression. Life events can also play a significant part. The loss of a loved one, a difficult relationship, or any stressful situation can trigger depression. 
These experiences can cause feelings of sadness and despair that persist long after the event has passed. But it's not just about what's happening in our lives now, it's also about what's happened in the past. A personal history of mental health conditions, including previous episodes of depression, increases the likelihood of experiencing depression again. Substance abuse is another risk factor. The misuse of alcohol, drugs or medication can compound feelings of sadness, making depression more likely. Certain medical conditions can also make individuals more prone to depression. Conditions like heart disease, cancer or diabetes can lead to depressive episodes, as can the stress and anxiety that often accompany these conditions. Depression is a complex condition with many contributing factors. Understanding these can help in prevention and treatment. It's like slowly piecing together that jigsaw puzzle. The more pieces we find, the better we can understand and combat this condition. While depression is a serious condition, there are effective treatments available. Depression can be a daunting and isolating experience, but it's essential to remember that you're not alone. There's a wide range of treatments available, all aimed at helping you regain control and enjoy life again. A common treatment for depression is medication. Antidepressants can help balance chemicals in your brain that affect your mood and emotions. They're not a quick fix, but they can be a vital part of your recovery process. Psychotherapy or talk therapy is another effective treatment. It involves meeting with a mental health professional to discuss your feelings, thoughts and behaviours that might be contributing to your depression. Cognitive Behavioural Therapy, or CBT, is a type of psychotherapy that can teach you how to replace negative thought patterns with more positive ones. However, treatment isn't just about medication and therapy. It's also about making lifestyle changes that can help manage your symptoms and improve your mood. Regular exercise, a healthy diet, adequate sleep and reducing alcohol and caffeine intake can all make a significant difference. Self-care strategies also play a crucial role in combating depression. This could mean taking time each day to relax and do things you enjoy. Whether that's reading a good book, going for a walk, or listening to your favourite music. It's also important to stay connected with friends and family who can provide emotional support. But remember, while these treatments and strategies can be beneficial, they're not substitutes for professional help. If you're feeling depressed, it's crucial to consult with a healthcare provider. They can provide a proper diagnosis and guide you towards the right treatment plan for you. Depression can feel overwhelming, but with the right help and support, it's entirely possible to overcome it. So don't be afraid to reach out. You don't have to face this alone. Remember, seeking help is a sign of strength, not weakness. If you're struggling, don't hesitate to reach out. Depression is a widespread issue that affects individuals from all walks of life. Remember, it's crucial to recognize its symptoms and types, understand the causes, and most importantly, seek help. Treatments are available, and you're not alone in this fight. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.